UK cider producers who make less than 33 pints a day have enjoyed a tax exemption for 40 years. Last year, the EU Commission ordered the UK government to end it. MEPs like Ashley Fox said the decision was unfair to the hundreds of producers in the South West. We need this reform to protect small cider makers, to ensure that their traditional way of making cider continues, that historic orchards are preserved, and it's also very important for the rural economy. None of the exemptions recipients are getting rich on it. It's worth about £2,500 on a turnover of 20000 Without it, many say they could go out of business, and that will have a devastating effect on rural life. The tourist industry relies on it because it creates beautiful ciders that are sold in small shops um, and in farm shops and things that attract tourism. The actual landscape is determined by those beautiful standard orchards that are used for the small cider making industry. And therefore, without small cider makers, the whole rural landscape would change. But also just the products that we find in the small pubs, the small shops and the little farm gate shops. Mr Fox has brought the cider industry and the Commission together and he is hopeful things are moving in the right direction. I think things are looking good at the moment. The Commission have made some very hopeful sounds and they will produce their review by June and July. I'm optimistic. I think this campaign is succeeding. More should be known next year, but the UK exemption stays for now.